Hey guys, what's up? Sai here and be welcome to the Skyrim mod series 33. I just got a Baba Jack early this day and this damn thing just summoned my kinky dreams there, so I thought I should show you that. This light armor which has glass armor stats is optimized for the CBBE body replacer. That means that the weight slider is also affecting the armor. There's just a little bug with the tattoo on the left breast. Um, because on some values of the white slider it just disappears below the skin. But where you can use the wings also for other characters I think that could fit to some normal stuff also very good. By the way there are so many armor mods out there that I think I'm gonna do a special with just armor mods about 10 or 15 or so. I will do that because you can't say which armor is really the best or which ones are the best and everybody of you has a different taste so one of you guys likes law friendly stuff, the other the sexy armor stuff and the third one just wanna see teeth uh, armors and so on. So I think that will cover a lot of your needs. And this was by the way the place where you can find the armor in solitude and what the hell is this? This model shop shooter 8 just asked me if I could review his realistic hope ENB, the photorealistic ENB. And I have to admit I'm really impressed by the look of this mod. It just eats my frames per second for breakfast and it needs a really good computer to run this so you need very high specs um, to run this on a high frame rate. I think I play this now on about 15 frames per second in solitude and um, I don't even have high resolution textures for everything. So for example I don't have the um, HD texture DLC from Bethesda and you see here the depth of field um, it's kicking in very fast right it can be a little bit um, disturbing but um, well I like that more than taking five seconds for changing in my opinion the wall lightning is really really impressive and everything looks so I don't know it's very contrast heavy Everything is really saturated, um, there's not much grey in it, in this mod. Other reason for this mod to be so frames per second hungry is that you have to activate a lot of options for the shadows, they're really smooth. The mod uses the highest quality for the SSAO, so the screen space amp and occlusion, and also the blue. So what I have to say about this mod is, uh, yes, the depth of field is very heavy and maybe a little bit annoying sometimes. And yes, it uses a lot of frames per second and eats them in no time. But if I would have a better PC, I would prefer this instead of the superb ENBRL mod that I'm using at the moment. You see also in the background the very dark nights of this mod. Um, similar to the other mod I'm using. I really like this Dark Knights because um, I think that's more exciting for the wall game if you have this shiny great days with the bright sun and then the deep and dark nights. Oh by the way of course I'm using fraps to record this so probably it's some frames faster than I have it right now. I will keep this activated for the next mod. So we're going from Solitude to the Blue Palace, jumping down the cliff to Falkunthur and then we're going here to the Mobert's Lair and to Horda's home. And sadly I can't fast travel there so I think I have to walk. And this new player home we're discovering here is in the middle of the swamp totally uncovered from any enemy or something like that. It's called Horda's Home Realistic Player Home Series because this guy want to make a series of different realistic player homes. I featured this mod because when I saw this on the Skyrim Nexus I just thought how beautifully is this designed and with how much heart and soul because it looks all very very original and like it could have been in the game from the start. For example here the mannequin has just an upper body. If you play an orc then I think this home will be yours. It's basically very suitable for a hunter but also for a thief or an assassin. Red Fink describes his mod as follows. You have come across the home of a once compulsive hoarder who built his home up on top of and around a giant tree stump. It has all the storage you need as well as placards to show off your weapons and one mannequin as they are hard to find in Skyrim as well as not being in a separate cell so you can defend your home from creatures etc. 
So this is a mod that I can suggest without any doubt. Let's get to the next mod, uh, Imaginator, which is by the guys who also did the Dynavision mod. This mod also adds the power to your menu, the Summon Imaginator Helper. And also there's a guy who appears if you use the spell. And I won't go into details of the different options that are available now. This mod lets you change the appearance of the game in-game. So what you can do, you have your different options and you can turn the brightness up and down. You can turn the contrast up and down. You can turn the saturation up and down. You can go to the tinter option and you can there adjust how much red is in the screen, how much blue is in the screen, green and so on and so on. You can also change the brightness of the sky, up or down, sunlight, up or down, and all that stuff is stacking and you can reset it if you want. Also there are some presets, and so you can choose some of the presets that are already in this mod or come with this mod, and yes, then you can adjust them, and you can change them how you like it. So the reason for you to use this tool is whether to just play around and make the game look as ugly as possible or you want to fine tune your actual look of the game. So maybe because you have uh, ENB installed, installed and you want to change it a little bit in this direction or that direction so it fits to your personal needs and yes this is this is very good with this tool so you can adjust that very easily and in game that's the awesome part in my opinion that you can change everything in game like in DinoVision so you don't need to change something in a txt data and then you need to go back start the game check it out make maybe a screenshot to see the difference that's very good well, let's go forth to the next mod, which is a HD retexture of the shields. Of all shields, instead of the shield of Iskramar, who is already done by another guy, written on the mod side, and the Spellbreaker. Because I had this mod already in an older episode, I just don't show you everything, every shield. But let me say you generally look pretty awesome, like this Imperial shield here, and they have a very nice retexture. Um, I really recommend doing this or by the way getting this mod but to be honest I think it's time to kill some guys and while doing this I'm gonna show you the next mod which is called Crimson Tide Blood and this is a HD resolution texture for blood or even more there are weapon specific wounds so there's a difference between one-handed and two-handed weapons the blood by the way is very saturated very high resolution really here you can see the blood on my body so well there you go very detailed there's also something kind of um, funny if you're doing some heavy attacks let's say it like that then yeah this happens which looks maybe a little bit disgusting well that's how it is okay I'm gonna let him go well Okay, gonna end the party here and let's get to a mod which I really really like already. The mod is for males and for females and the stats are written on the left top. I like this mod the most just because of the look of the females which you will see soon. But let's take a look at the males. I think they're too shiny and beautiful for the most of you guys. But well, like I said, be prepared for the female version. Well, that sounds weird but the great thing about this mod is and that it's kind of standalone, the meshes and the textures and so on, so they won't replace by any body replacer that you use. So basically, this mod bundles different other mods into this race. Oh, and before I forget it, somebody wrote in the comments, and I can't find it again, that I would use um, too much cursing sometimes and too much bad language and so on. In the comment was written that this person has also a kid who watches this series, and um, this person has to check the video every time. Well, I have to say that the game has a USK 16 and a Peggy 18, and that this stuff also appears in the regular game itself. So I will just continue talking like I want to, 
and also the video is rated as TVPG, so kind of parents watch out. So I'm sorry for you, but it wouldn't make me uh, much fun to watch out for every word I'm talking. But I don't want anybody to make now weird comments about this. That's just the only way I can um, reply now. And also this guy told me anyways that he would appreciate what I do. And meanwhile I already made my character there in the background. I think it's a very good result there. And um, yeah, you see what's possible with the cherry raids. I think that's pretty cool. I also mentioned this race already in my new Skyrim series. Um, which is called Skyrim Interactive and is about playing with you guys together and you can choose what I do and so on. So definitely check that out. You will find it on my channel but I can also just put a link in the description down there or put an annotation or so. I hope I get a lot of feedback on this Skyrim Interactive series. And this is the last mod I want to show you. Somebody just messaged me and wanted me to show this off. So this is just kind of for the lulz. I already say thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Like, subscribe, ferret, rate and command. God, how many is possible here? And there you go. Children of Skyrim and we find